Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Brew IPA from Bell's is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try a special release from Bell's. Uh, this is a general store exclusive. This is Brute IPA Ale. We do talk about it all the time. I don't know when I'm going to stop buying these things because most of the time they're not good. I think I've only had one or two that have been good. Uh, packaged 509. Today is like the 24th or 25th or something like that. So very fresh, 6% ABV, shelf life is six months. This is out of the B1 store, which is at the Bell's General Cafe, General Store right behind it. Um, I think this is the third one they've done. The first one was a light two-hearted, uh, then they did the juicy, then this one, and I think the next one up is like a blackberry sour or something like that go ahead and get it into the glass i do see there there is a whole bunch of stuff on the bottom so i'm gonna stop just short just so we can see what the color is head is dissipating very quickly um white bubbles is what i have color uh i did get some of the yeast protein in there hazy from that uh yellow light yellow color uh brute ipa it, really all it is is it's fermented to have like all the sugars out so it should be dry it should show off the hops hopefully so let's go ahead and get a smell it almost smells like a sour like a lemon sour It has, it has that brute quality, like you're not getting any smell of sweetness or anything, but it's like a, a, a lemon sour is what I get. Let's go ahead and taste. Very dry. I'm getting lemon, but again, uh, I think it's just like the Old Nation one that I had. By taking all that sugar out, it's like you get that vegetal hop, like like whole cone hop if you just ate the hop. It's almost, I, I can't tell if it's purely citrus from how dry it is or if there's like some citrus fruitiness in the middle of it. It it tastes like there is some some fruitiness in the center. So you get like that vegetal lemon citrus hop uh up front then it goes back into a little bit of juiciness then bitterness as it goes down pine bitterness aftertaste it's like dry grassy lemongrass and that's about it um 3.5 out of 5. Again, I don't think I'm a big fan of this style of beer. I think it needs that sugar in there. Um, but if you're into Brutes, this might be one to try and find and pick up. <laughs> Obviously, it's carved. Um, looking at the back, let's just see. They say nothing. Let's go ahead and put the rest in here. Swirl it up and see if that changes anything. I doubt it's going to. Hazy. Still floaties in there. Head's better. Very white meringue head. Yeah. Yeah, you still get that like hop, like leafy hop, vegetal lemon in there. So yeah, 3.5 out of 5. Check untapped. 
Zero of my friends have had it. 48 people have rated it. Average 3.79 out of 5. Uh, tropical aroma, medium bitterness, dry finish. I don't get that. Uh, people are saying hoppy, bitter, citrus, dank. So I guess I can, uh, I am kind of in line. I don't really get that dankness. The bitterness is there. Like I said, in the very back pine bitterness is what you're getting. I do get the citrus. I, I'm still going to go with in the middle of the drink, you're still getting a little bit of fruit in there. I think it does change pretty quick before it goes to that pine bitterness, but it's still there. But yeah, 3.5 out of five for this one. So if you like this review, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.